Well, Craig Brewster put himself on the bench for this one as United look to build on what's been recently an improved run of form. Noel Hunt, the man getting the tough shift for United up front, and Craig Conway asked to do some damage on the wing. No wins in 15 league games on the road for Hibernian, who started this with five points from five games. Zamama and Benjolun have been grabbing headlines, but Chris Killen back to try and make some of his own. The referee, Craig Thompson. One after beating St Mirren and then Airdrie in the uh, League Cup, the latter was. Dundee United are hoping for a third successive win, something they last achieved two seasons ago. Just maybe the gloom is lifting a little around Tannadice. This hip side, they're playing with two up front, they're not playing the lone striker. Benjamin's going up there alongside Killen. Tony Mowbray playing with four wide in midfield. One way in there. And Hunt in the hunt for an early goal. In behind the defenders. They don't clear it, Hibs. That's where you want the ball into that set area. And Hunt throws his cell at it. He's a wee bit unfortunate. He's stretching. Well, there's no great tempo to the game yet. Jones and Murphy have got to deal with this. Samuel proved to be a test. And Jones lunged in. No penalty. Calvinus has tipped Scott Brown, and that's going to be a yellow card for him. I thought he played the ball, Rob Jones. For me, he gets a little bit on the ball there. Not much, but just enough. Well, something needs to happen, and it's as simple as that again. He needs something to happen to, to spark it into life. Here's Benjaloon. He's done well, and it's deflected just over. That's more like it. Well, it's more positive from Hibbs, from Benjaloon. It's a long kick out from Malkowski. Killen makes a nuisance, he says he picks the ball up here, he shows good feet, switches it back onto his left, a little deflection. Derek still just watching it over his head, I think he was beating had it dipped in. Archibald sorting out Benjaloon. And Martis missed it, and it's Noel Hunt, and the flag is up again anyway. <laughs> Once more he's offside, it wouldn't have counted. Well, not really sure about it, but once again the referee's assistant. Good ball in the channel, and the ball's played back. Oh, it's tight again, he may just have been a little bit offside again, just half a yard. He's got to stop getting caught offside, he's got to get himself in better positions. He's got to be more aware of where the hip centre-halves are and start making some better runs. It's going to have that uh, streaming blood sorted out as well once the officials spot it. Not allowed to have a speck of blood on your shirt these days. Zamama, Benjaloon and Zamama fires it well wide. And it's worked its way back to him. More by luck than anything else, I think, just here. Finds itself back to him. Decent little layoff. Conway. Whitaker. Aiming to shake him off. Calvinus and Brown both went for it. That's a trip by Brown on Cameron. And just a little kick out. Giving away a free kick in a decent area. A good chance for Conway to put this ball into. Good area of the penalty box. Hibs will be looking to squeeze out as far as they can. Conway, that's better. And it's going to break for Samuel. Markowski makes the save and got a bit of help from his defence too. What a chance for Dundee United. That's a good area, that's a good ball in. 
couple of ricochets, falls for Sam, who has a good strike. Terrific save from Olkowski, he's not had much to do. He does everything right. Dundee Valley getting a fair share of the ball in the uh, last 10 minutes, or 15 even. Brown, it opens up here for Scott Brown! Struck it fiercely, and still he gets the rest. Well, that's what Scott Brown's all about. Cutting in, using his pace. Dundee United don't shut him down, they sit off him. Here's Martis, who uh, began his career with Feyenoord. What a ball that is for Chris Killen! Fabulous finish! Hibs come good with a super strike from Killen. And they have the lead at Tannadice. Oh, an archer ball. He can't be allowing Killen. He was onside, he was level. One straight ball in behind. That's a superb finish. But as a centre-half, you should not allow one straight ball to get in behind you like that. It did, and Derek Stelly had absolutely no chance. He timed his run well, and his finish was exquisite. And that's just the goal that this game needed. What's again for Zemama? Here's Murphy encouraging Benjaloon to advance further. Benji. Zamama. And Chris Kellen again. A cute angle this time, but onside again and stopped by Stilly. Well, that's a smashing ball from Zamama, I mean, it really is. It's a good run from Kellen. Little straight run. Guess it's a, he's not in a great position here. He is a little bit wide. I suspect Craig Brewster might be thinking about bringing himself on. Zamama now. There's a man on a mission. And it's forwards. Cut out by Archibald and he's rather relieved that it trickled wide. Well, the gap's appearing now. And it's Zamama in midfield is picking the ball up in dangerous areas, running it. Done the United defence. I'll tell you what, if he doesn't get a touch there, Chris Killen's in the clear. Scott Brown, Benjaloon, Zamama, not far away from him. And Benjaloon goes past Proctor. Good stop that from Stilly. It could so easily have been 2 0. Well, I think he saves it with his foot, but it's good play again from Hebbs to get into a wide area. They're 2 on 1 there. Benjaloon's options not to use them. That's good for you. That's good skill. Sells the dummy. Hibbs looking for an all-too-rare away victory in the SPL. They've uh, not been able to kill some teams off this season. Can they finish off Dundee United? A second goal would certainly help in their quest. Well, that's been the problem at times. Aiden have played some decent stuff. They've probably played better this season than they have done so far this afternoon. But once again, at the moment, it's only a one-goal lead. Did take a one goal lead into the match against Celtic. Eventually lost 2 1. Duff. Colin Samuel. Finds his hill in space. Should be getting that header on target. Zamama. Well, Cameron got into bother, and now Stewart has released Benjaloon. Benjaloon fires over, and he's given a lot of room there. Well, Cameron drilled the ball, you can't do that at this level. Killing does well, wins it back. Benjaloon finds himself in a great area here, good bit of skill. Easton's on for Cameron, Brewster's on for Hunt. And Borsch out there. Samuel 
claiming there might have been some wrongdoing. Yeah, I think it's wishful thinking for, for some of these United fans desperate to get back in the match, looking for anything they can get from the referee to turn this game around. Brewster, Easton, and again, and Easton across, Brewster! Markovsky to the rescue for Hibbs, and it looked like Brewster would make an immediate impact, Kerr sent it back in, and Duff, and Brewster, and there's just no way to go for Craig Brewster. Well, that is a great chance for Craig Brewster, what a fantastic save from Mokowski. It's great play from United, the ball scrambles about, they don't clear it, Hibbs. The ball floats to the back post. Mathis gets his on the right, Mesh to flip it back in, Brewster's back in again. Thompson. Easton loses out to Brown. Now Whitaker. Brown. Stewart. Will it open up here for Hibbs? Benjamin! Terrific strike. Shields on the rebound. Yes! So, so clever. Shields and Hibbs have been pegged back a couple of times on their travels this season are surely not about to be pegged back here. It's 2 0. Yeah, that's a great play from Hibbs. Brown, Stewart, 1 2, quick passing. Shot from Benzlin, decent save from Stilly. What's he going to do is he try to flick it to the back post? That's a great finish. That's composure. Second goal for Hibbs. The football was fantastic. Time and space for Shields. Just on the field, thank you very much. An absolutely fantastic finish, one would imagine. That second goal is going to all but kill this game off. Now they're going to the top half of the table, Ian Hibbs, if they can hold out, which you would imagine they're going to do now with four or five minutes left. Colin Samuel, a rasping effort. It's Sprout. Taking on Calvinus and brushing him aside. Nobody to dust it on the edge of the area. Brown now for Shields. They're toying with Dundee United. It's Ivan Sproul, and it is 3-0. And it has been a highly effective second-half performance from Hibbs. Sproul gets in on the end. Well, it's been a much improved performance, second half from Hibs, as I said. Three goals, but to be quite honest, from a Dundee United point of view, this is embarrassing. He started on the right, nobody made a challenge. Ball finds its way to Sproul. Look at the space he's got, nobody wants to take responsibility, nobody wants to pick him up. Derek Stilly's left with no chance at all, it's a great finish from Sproul. Andy, I think we can draw a very large veil over the first half, but marvellous second half performance from Hibernia. Terrific from Hibs, and uh, I think it's long overdue the fact that they can get uh, three points on the road. And when you think of the goals that they lost uh, through O'Connor and Riordan last season, the you know the defensive qualities of Gary Caldwell, it's terrific that they're still able to challenge and, and look a really accomplished side. And, the football they play is just a joy to watch at times. And John, just when Dundee United thought they had a bit of a run going, it hits the buffers again. Yeah, but I think you're going to get inconsistencies with most of the teams in the, the Premier League. You may I think Hibs have also suffered from that this year. Um, but I think you know the one thing about Hibs is they're very pleasing on the eye. They play the, the manager's got a great philosophy and he's just replaced with other players with other players. And they're difficult to play against. Zimam drops into that hole and, and makes some very good good passes difficult to pick up and um, but I think they're a terrific side they, they go and use the ball play the game the right way and they're, they're the good side to watch well I'll tell you you saw Craig Brewster coming on as a substitute there Hibs were 1-0 up at the time and he certainly knew he had a chance to equalise yeah disappointing day I thought we competed really well in the first half and uh, on another day I think we maybe should have had a penalty but 1-0 down and I got a great chance in front of me, and uh, to be fair, I've got to try and find the corner.
keeper saved it with his legs and you know, they go up the park and make it 2-0. It was a good build up, good great cut back by Calvin S and uh, I've just you know, placed it in the corner. He has to pick them up, Fraser, but uh, his next match is away to Inverness, his old team. Yeah, he'll be looking forward to, to that one. I think he's been a bit harsh on himself there for the, for the chance because uh, David Murphy slides in and makes it awkward for him and I think means that he's got to take the, the shot early. But I think Dundee United's season is about managing expectations. You know, they, they have this mm. tradition and every year there's always disappointments. But Craig's had to get the wage bill down. He's had to bring in players, good young players like Craig Conway, who have got a potential to be uh, top class players but still learning the game and he's had to make a lot of changes so I, th I think this year will be a, a period of transition and I just hope that Eddie Thompson sticks with Craig Brewster.